Okay, Virgo, what is your second reading of the day going to be about? Let's see. Spirit, give me a message for the earthlies, please. All right. We have self-sufficient. Being self-sufficient, though you already are. If you're not, this could be someone around you being and becoming self-sufficient here. All right, what is this message about for Virgos being self-sufficient, please, Spirit? What is this about for Virgos? Or someone around them being self-sufficient. We have the Herophant. Hmm. Page of Cups. The Four of Swords here. Seven of Wands. Wow. The Five of Wands. The Knight of Cups. And we have the Ten of Swords here. Okay. Yeah, you, it's like you tire out so much because you do so much for others that people take and take and ask for advice from you, you know, and because they argue with people, they're not getting along with people, Virgo, and they're always coming to you asking for your opinion. They're always coming for you, ask, coming toward you asking for advice. Can you help us make this? Can you help us do this? Uh, can, you, can you help us fix our relationship? Can you help us fix our marriage? Can you help us with our work? Because you, you, you efficient, Virgo. You finish with yours, so can you help us with ours? You know, it's always somebody coming to you asking for help. It's always someone coming to you asking for your opinion about something, and you give that opinion because, freely because this is who you are. Very, very self-sufficient, but kind of like you hold people's hands a lot you know and sometimes you got to get to the point to where you're able to tell these people you know what i'll show you how to do it one time i'll show you how to do it twice but the third time you're on your own where did i hear that from ray damn the movie ray charles when his mother he was going blind i don't know why i just said that wow okay hmm. all right i haven't seen that movie in forever all right You have to allow people to start doing things on their own because you're going to tire yourself out trying to help everybody, Virgo. You know, they tell you, I'm not getting along with my sister. I'm not getting along with my lover. I'm not getting along with that bitch at work. Whatever the situation is, Virgo, give them the advice and tell them what you do. People value your your advice. They value your input, okay? While, while you're telling this person or showing this person how to do something or suggesting that they do something, they actually do that or a, I'm hearing, or a derivative of what you tell them to do. And then they go home with this four of, of, um, of source energy and go to sleep. While you're up worrying about your problems. Who do you talk to when you need help? Who do you talk to, Virgo, when, when you need advice? Okay? You got to learn how to, 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 to hold back. Because when people have their battles, they come to you. And you help them, you fix them, you go help. You literally go probably help them physically you know but you talk to this person about their feelings and emotions and how to calm down and how to relax and all of that stuff but you're giving off your energy when you're doing this okay you're giving off your energy so when you're when you need your cup filled up because you're so self self-sufficient who fills up your cup nobody because you do it you do it yourself you do it by yourself nobody fills that up you have to do it yourself because you there's nobody else. There's nobody else like you unless you have a Virgo in your life. But you people tire you out but you, because you let them. How can Virgo become more self-sufficient? You got to stop. You know, I'm not saying stop helping people, but you help yourself first. Help yourself first. Re re um, re something about recharge which re make sure your battery is fully recharged before you give somebody some of your juice you get that nine of wands and we are yeah we have here the nine of wands and the strength card here this is you already battled by what you've been by what you've been going through, and you have people come to you. Well, can I just rub your shoulder a little bit? Can I just get some advice for you? You already going through what you're going through, but you got this person who needs that strength. You're that strength for everybody around you, and they sup and sup and take and take and 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 until you give it all away. And when you're fully drained, you don't have anybody there because when when they're done taking from you what little energy reserve you have, because they've gained that powerful strength, 
they're happy again. They're happy again. Everything is cool. Everything is gravy with this person. Because they done sucked up all of your damn energy. <laughs> and look, the next time somebody comes to you asking for help, run. Run as fast as you possibly can. And I'm not saying don't help anybody. You know, it's okay to help somebody. But some some people have to have to start doing for you have to, to start allowing people to start doing for themselves because as long as you give your input, as long as you do for that person. Virgo, you're never going to get any rest. You're never going to get any sleep. Okay? People are going to keep taking from you as long as you keep giving. Learn how to be more receiving. And learn how to say no. No is a complete sentence. How can Virgo be more self-sufficient? Or help others become more self-sufficient? Okay. How can Virgo become more self-sufficient? Self Being authentic. I support women and just being, you always be supportive. Yes, I'm saying always be supportive, but it starts with you first. What about people supporting you instead of you always supporting other people? You know, energy. energy. Um, I just lost my thought. Charity starts at home. Okay. Start with yourself and then spread that shit out. But stop, stop carrying your everybody else's burden on your little shoulders what about everybody else can't they carry your burdens for a little while can't people support you it's okay to love okay take your butt to sleep i'm saying dream here relax getting more sleep going medit doing some meditation you know Trying to figure out how to get to sleep at night and stay asleep instead of, of having everybody's problems on your mind. How can you get to sleep if you're worried about everybody else? Because you are a warrior anyway. Being, being self-sufficient for the earthly Virgos, please, Spirit. Being self-sufficient. Yeah, people treasure you. People treasure your advice. More than you have ever known, more than you have ever realized. Everything you got to say that your people will listen. If they trust you enough, if you have been devoted to this person, they're going to do what you what you suggest that they do. They may deviate a little bit from, from what you told them, but they will do it. Okay? Because, because of who you are. Because you have shown yourself approved to these people over and over and over again. And they celebrate you. They tell you, thank you, I appreciate you. For being who you are. Because there's nobody else like you earthly. Okay. Go out on an adventure. Even if you have to go out of town by yourself. You know just to get away from things. You know just for, so you can relax. And have a good night's sleep. Without, without having to worry about everybody's problems. Taking a, a siesta. Taking a break. And, and go behind doors. Even if you have to go somewhere to do like a retreat. Like that movie. Was it Eat, Pray, Love. Get away from everybody. Just relax. And get your, you go on your adventure and like eat, pray, love, and come back like Stella. Like Stella got a groove back. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We have truth. Okay. I see truth. I see, I see gift. And I see solitude here. Okay. People come to you for advice, Virgo, because you're going to give them the truth. You're going to spill that tea, whether it's hot or cold. You're going to tell this person the truth. Because that's why they keep coming back to you because they value your opinion. They value your opinion. But at the same time, you've got to start letting people be more self-sufficient. And stay in your solitude. Because while you're here in, in solitude and alone... People are still going to argue. People are still going to fuss. People are still going to fight. They're going to have, have parties and get drunk and, do, and get high and do crazy shit and then come to you and tell you about it. Stay in your solitude. Stay in your head space. Okay? It's like, it's okay to help people, but clear. make sure you clear out their energy so you can get some rest. So you can get some rest. Final card here for Earthly Space. On being self-sufficient for themselves and other people. Persevere. So show that person how to persevere. Or show that person once. Show that person twice. But on the third time, tell them you're on your own. Because I've done my part. 
love you to death, but I've done my part. I need some rest. All right. I hope that message resonates with you all earthly. See you all later.